Kia ora Here's question 2D from this year's Level 2 Calculus exam. So we're given a trapezium sitting just inside a parabola. The parabola equation is 8x minus x squared. And we've got the x-axis along here. And what else is going on? And two parallel sides of the trapezium, right? So back in year 9, most of the time when you looked at trapezium problems, they probably looked like this shape here. The formula was to average the top and the bottom or the two parallel sides, and then times by the perpendicular height. So that gives us the formula, half of A plus B times H. So what we have to do here is realise that this trapezium has got these two points that are sitting on the parabola, so we're going to find the lengths of those two sides using this function. All right, so I'm going to start out by just putting in, calling this point here Y0, and this point here Y1. You don't have to do that but it just makes it a bit clearer. So y naught is what happens when we substitute x into this function, and y1, this height, is what happens when we substitute 2x into this function. Okay, so it's quite good, I think, to write this with f of x notation so you can see what's going on. It's not that hard, right? f of x is equal to 8x minus x squared, so that's going to be my expression for a. And then f of 2x is equal to 8 times 2x minus 2x all squared, which gives me 16x minus 4x squared, and that's my expression for b. And that's really the hardest part of this question, right? Because if you look at this, this distance here, which is going to be my h, that's just 2x minus x, right? So h is equal to 2x minus x, and now we're good to go. We've got an expression for the area of the trapezium, um, and it will be a half times x, because that's the expression for the height, times, let's see, well, we've got 8x minus x squared plus 16x minus 4x squared. That gives me a half x times 24x minus 5x squared. Expanding that out, because we're going to be differentiating, I get 12x squared minus 5 on 2, which I will call, for once I'll use decimal, 2.5x cubed. That's a 2. To maximise, we need to differentiate and set that equal to 0. So that gives me 24x minus 7.5x squared. So it has to be equal to 0 for a maximum. Um, solving this little quadratic, I get x into 24 minus 7.5x is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0, or x, hmm, let's go slowly, 24 minus 7.5x equals 0, x times 7.5 is 24, which gives me 24 over 7.5, which gives me, where are we, 3.2. I'm going to show you all of this in GeoGebra in a moment. Okay, so um, we can probably tell just by looking that this is going to be, be, give me a minimum, and this we hope is going to give me a maximum. Now they didn't ask you to do a second derivative test here, but I'm going to do it anyway, just so you see. Um, I haven't seen a marking schedule yet. I'd be surprised if they do want that, because they haven't seen it, but it's easy enough to do. So the second derivative test here gives me 24 minus 15x, um, and at this value, that is going to give me, let's see what it gives me. Oh no, sorry, is that right? That's right. So 24 minus 15 times 3.2, yep, which is gives me negative 24, which is less than zero, so we've found a max. Okay, but don't need to do that for the main part of the question. What we've got to do now, though, is that we've found this x value. We have to find the dimensions of the rectangle. So two ways to do this. We can either go back to year 9 and work out half times h times the average of a plus b, um, or we can just use our expression for a from above, which simplified to give me 12x squared minus 2.5x cubed. Right, I reckon that's going to be faster. So putting everything in, we get a is equal to 12 times 3.2 squared minus 2.5 times 3.2 cubed, 
which gives me 40.96 centimeters squared. Now don't hang up the video just yet. I just want to show you how that looks in GeoGebra. So I'm hoping that I can um, show you with a slider working what's going on. But first I'll just show you a screenshot of that area at the maximum. So this is an example where it's not maximized, right? And this is kind of drawn how it is in the paper, where we've got just an x value here, and 2x is also on this side of the parabola, whereas what we found in our answer was that we had um, x equals 3.2, and then 2x is going to be 6.4. And if you're thinking about that parabola, oh, I don't know what's happened there. It's not letting me draw a parabola. But the maximum point, ugh, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I had ink to shape turned on in my OneNote. So if you're just thinking about what the parabola looks like, um, we've got our axes here, and this axis of symmetry is at four, right? So what we're getting for the for the maximized trapezium is that we've got a value quite close to four here, and so double it is over here. And that's giving me this bigger area of 40.96. And so that's the, the maximized one shown here just from GeoGebra. And um, if you want the GeoGebra to play around with that problem, feel free to email me and I will send it through to you. It's actually quite fun to construct things like this in either Desmos or GeoGebra, and I think it gives you a good sense of what's going on underlying the calculus. So we haven't, um, I think we've finished the question. We need to go back to the question and check that we've got it, but we've found an area and it's 40.96 centimetres squared. Now it didn't ask me for all the separate dimensions, right? So I didn't find out what this height was, and I didn't find out what this one was. I just went directly to this final area expression. Okay, so reading it one more time. Um, yeah, we have to use calculus to find the maximum area of the trapezium. So I got 40.96 for that. Now, if you found a mistake in here, please let me know. Um, I've just done this question in a hurry. And as you know, the schedule is not out for quite a long time. Thanks for watching. I'll try and do some more level two questions over the next few days. So if you've got any requests, feel free to send them in. I am going to do the, um, the volume one that shouldn't have been in level two probably after school today.